I break Minecraft a lot. Oh, oh, look at, look at me. Man, it's hard to hear. <laughs> but every time I've broken Minecraft, I've been in a version of the game where you can do things like run commands, spawn mobs, and even break blocks. Today, though, that changes. I'm in Adventure Mode, a game mode specifically designed to limit what the player is able to do in the world. By default, Adventure Mode doesn't allow cheats. So today, I can't spawn hundreds of entities or give myself items. Adventure Mode also kind of removes one of the fundamental elements of breaking Minecraft gameplay, breaking and placing blocks. And that's gonna be a problem. So today, with my ultimate goal of crashing Minecraft, I'm gonna need to rely on niche features and potentially bugs within Minecraft to get me to the finish line. I'm not allowed to run any commands to make this happen. So, what's the game plan? Well, in order to form one, I need to do some testing to see what's actually possible in adventure and what's limited. And here we are, in my adventure mode testing world. Let's start with general block interaction. Obviously, you can't place blocks down anywhere, it doesn't work. But if those blocks are already there, can you use something on them? Yes, you can. Okay, good to know. But it looks like I can't place it on the ground. So I can't light the ground on fire, but I can light TNT. Interesting. I can also obviously pick up blocks, which would uh, really suck if I couldn't do that. But now that I have the blocks, I still can't really do anything with them, so they're all just kind of useless. What about a water bucket? Okay, you can't you can't place water buckets down. Can I pick up water? No. Okay, so buckets are also useless. I can interact with all of these, which is interesting. Can I use the bell? You can. No blocks also work. So interacting with blocks like this does work. We which is kinda odd. What about entity interaction? Okay, now you have a job. Okay, yes, you can interact with villagers. Looks like you can also interact with creepers, which is an interesting way to break blocks. I think that's kind of the only way to break blocks in adventure mode. And you can also light creepers with flint and steel. Also good to know. You can damage them. Can you interact with redstone? Yes. Interesting. It's a very limited number of things that I can actually do in adventure mode. <laughs> so this is gonna be, this is gonna be rough. All right, well, Let's form a game plan. Game plan one, casual in-game discovery. Honestly, since I don't have much of a direction to follow to figure out what can crash the game, I decided to just play Minecraft in adventure mode and see if it leads anywhere naturally. So I gathered some food in the form of chickens and set off to find a village. Adventure mode sucks, man. There's so much that I could probably do with like this cave and like I could go find things, but no. I'm just, I'm just stuck here, not able to break anything. <laughs> the first real direction I wanted to go was towards the plains so I could find a village pretty easily. And after wandering around for a while with uh, minimal complaints, my goal is to crash the game and yet I can't do anything in the game. It actually paid off. Oh. There's a village over there. Okay, sick. I'm trying to think through like what kind of resources I'm gonna find here. And I don't know if this is necessarily going to be helpful for my final goal of breaking the game, but I need to find out. It was around this time that I started questioning my initial game plan. There's not much you can access in adventure mode. So my options were pretty limited. It was basically impossible to gather enough resources to craft anything in a quantity that would do damage to my frame rate. And I wasn't allowed to use mods or anything extra to help me out. So I was feeling pretty unsure. But as the sun started setting, I made it to the village. In theory, this is a step in the right direction. Let's see what's in here. Leather, okay, and some bread. That's huge. Oh no, I can't get in this house. There's a chest in there, but I can't get in because there's a, oh, uh, I guess I could creeper it. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no. Oh no, wait, I can't even put the fire out. He's just stuck here. There's nothing, okay, oh no. That's really, that's really a bummer. Uh, okay, I see a couple creepers up there. I'm gonna see if I can lure them down. Hey, you, hey, come here. Come on, yeah, no, no, I don't want the others. I just want the creeper. I just need the, I right, get out of here, man, get out of here. Ow, stop, oh shoot, this is bad. Come on, creeper, right here, come on. This is where I need you to be. This is where I want you to be. I need you to light right there, right there, right there. Yes. I'm sorry, man. I, it was for the greater good, okay? Oh, wood. Oh, shoot. Ah, I got cobblestone, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's so many monsters. Okay, all right. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> Wait, creeper. Come here. Wait, come on. Come on. Don't let the skeleton hit you. Ow. Don't let the skeleton hit me either. Light there. Light here. Well, I, all right. I should have... I. Probably should have seen that coming. Okay. This could be good. Did it did it drop any hay bales? Did they drop any? Yes, hay bales. Is this guy still alive? Oh, he lives. 
saved it. This uh, ruined portal might have some stuff. I'm gonna head over there. We got, ooh, flint and steel and a golden shovel, which I can't really use, but I have it. Now here's the thing. I still can't place blocks. So even if I gather wood from creeper explosions, I can't place the crafting table. Plus to make things worse, crafting tables only spawn in Savannah, desert and taiga villages. So my plains village was all but useless. So now I'm on another search, another village in another biome that will finally let me craft things. And so I wandered the forest aimlessly until, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I see a village, but I don't, uh, this is an abandoned spruce village. I really hope this doesn't have, uh, oh, oh, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Okay, crafting table acquired. Is there anything I can do with it? Now that I think about it, there's not much I can craft that's gonna help me. Oh, that was weird. Guess I'll make some bread. That's nice. I've got a single iron ingot. Great. Uh, Leather boots, I guess. We have a crafting table. We have all this stuff that we need. We have a general way to break blocks, but I can't entirely think of a good way to crash the game. I was stumped. So I decided to do some research. I think I need a new approach. Game plan two, dig into the code. There might be some sort of game breaking glitch in Minecraft's code that will allow me to crash the game without overloading my computer. Something to terminate the application itself rather than my hardware. So I did some digging and it turns out Minecraft actually has an article about their top 10 favorite bugs from the game. That's exactly what I'm looking for. They say when they added the wither, suddenly our game would start crashing in really weird and impossible ways. When was the wither added? It's part of the pretty scary update or version 1.0. 4.2 of the game. Snapshots for 1.4 didn't exist. So I guess the final version was the one that they released, right? Dang it. Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate. All right, next idea. <laughs> so there was a bug that happened in 1.3? Minecraft 1.3 crouch push screenshot equals crash. This has always happened, it's not new. Crouch F2. Crouching screenshot. Screenshot. It's still, it works. I'm having trouble finding anything that's actually helpful. <sighs> I think it's time to ask my comments for help. Game plan three. Ask the viewers. What is a good way to break Minecraft in adventure mode? Asking for a friend, because I don't wanna, I don't want people to know that. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Sword computer. Break them in half with the break in half inator. Subscribing in an Arfie would immediately break the game. Source, trust me, bro. <laughs> Hit along with a snowball, then let them spit at you. Repeat until death. Go to the gym. Danny DeVito. This is not helping. Break the game in adventure. <laughs> Go on a super flat field with sand and wait. Normally, eventually, it should break by something or someone. That's actually a great idea. I'm not having to touch anything here. I'm now in adventure mode. And if I can... Oh, I just, re <laughs> I just realized it doesn't update it. Hold on. Hold on. Three sand, one air, one sand, and a pressure plates. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this also still didn't... Oh, shoot. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this is still not working. I'm just gonna remove those layers. We're just gonna have one sand. Great new world. I'm in adventure. Okay, I'm falling now. I'm dying, but there is sand falling. Uh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. This could this could crash it, actually. I've done this before in... Uh, oh, my gosh. In a Breaking Minecraft video, and I don't remember if it crashed it, but this is a step in the right direction. I am trying to fully crash the game, so... I just ne not necessarily an unplayable thing. It's something that I'm like actually actively trying to crash. The rendering of this though is definitely taking a toll. So that's interesting. Okay, it's it's going, but it's still not crashing. It's just really slow. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna crash it. I'm kind of thinking this is it for this one. All right, I'm gonna try something else. We're gonna try the super flat method again, but with TNT. In theory, this does overload the world. Oh, geez. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have a lot of explosions. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. This is, this is interesting. I'm not taking damage down here for some reason, but it's still exploding up there. Oh, 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 some damage. I guess I'm stuck down here. Uh, <laughs> Okay, this uh, this might not work. Yeah, it's it's not crashing. It's just it's just making the game slow and weird. I think I'm gonna also move on from this one. The comments weren't super helpful so far, but I kept reading and I stumbled upon something that legitimately completely changed the trajectory of this video. Use snapshot 12w34a. Build a Nether portal near a lava pool. Yes, you can build an adventure mode in this snapshot. Light it up using wooden planks or something and try fishing inside of it. Interesting. 12w34a. It doesn't exist. Okay, snapshot 1.4.1. I'm gonna try that one and I'm gonna see if that works. Oh, it 
Oh no. So we have a problem. Minecraft snapshots around the time of 1.4 weren't released the same way they are today. It required a bit more of a workaround, so none of the actual snapshots were in the Minecraft launcher. I couldn't access the one snapshot that I actually needed. How do you access it? How do you access these old snapshots? But then I found it. Wayback Machine. These old Minecraft articles still house the downloads for the old Minecraft snapshot jar files. The actual Minecraft version existed, and I managed to download it. I also found an old Reddit post about how to run these jar files through a launcher called MultiMC by replacing the existing Minecraft jar file in an instance with the new one. And finally, after a lot of tinkering, <gasps> oh, that took some wizardry to get working. <laughs> Game plan four, snapshot, nether portal, fishing rod. 12w34a is a unique version of the game because Mojang made a critical change to how adventure mode worked. Instead of stopping the player from using any blocks or tools no matter what, this version only stopped you if you didn't have the correct item. For example, you can place any wood block you already have in your inventory, but you can't break that block if you aren't holding an ax. Same for stone and pickaxes, etc. So this version now not only gave me a better method of playing the game, but this also gave me a game crashing bug from the snapshot, fishing rods in nether portals. So game plan four was simple. Find the things I needed for the nether portal and fishing rod, build the portal, and hope that the bug was real. So much research has gone into this, so much. Look at me, look at me in the face, and tell me that you're not impressed. Tell me that you're subscribed. Please. Okay, I need to get to work. If I can find maybe a village in this version, if villages even exist in this version, that could be really helpful. You know, fun fact, this is about the version where I started playing. I remember that the first ever update that I ever saw was one of the spooky scary updates. This is actually, I think this is just a little bit before I started, which is kind of cool. This is neat. Classic Minecraft really does feel like classic, you know? Ah, uh, yes, the sheep. They've been around since the beginning. All hail the immortal sheep. They've been here forever. I won't lie to you. I definitely thought I was in the home stretch by now. I had everything I needed for the fishing rod, and all I needed was to find a village blacksmith and get obsidian for the portal. Instead of that, though, I traveled, I made a boat, and I traveled some more, and I traveled a bit more, until I remembered one key mechanic about this update that I mentioned before. You can use uh, tools to break things. So if I make a, a wooden ax here, in theory that should let me break this, it does. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's huge. Minecraft went through a phase here where they decided that adventure mode was much more tuned towards like, you know, controlling what the player can do. So if you wanted to give the player the ability to break blocks in an adventure mode map, you would give them tools for it. Nowadays, obviously, we have a bunch more solutions for that. Like there's things that you could do to break individual types of blocks or whatever it is. But in this version, that means I can make tools and I can still play this game. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna play some kind of scuffed Minecraft survival here. Get myself a couple resources and then I can wander off into this into the sunset. With this absolutely incredible newfound block breaking in adventure mode power, I gathered what I needed and I even found this little guy. Pink sheep. No way. Hey there, buddy. How's it going? But when I finally felt I had gathered enough, I set out on possibly the most painful mission of my entire life, attempting to cross the ocean. This is taking so long. There is no land in sight. All I see are squids. Oh my gosh, is there land over there? I'm going over towards this land. It better not just be a tiny island. It's a tiny island. This ocean extended further than any ocean I have ever seen before. On and on, I kept sailing, but all I could see was more water and the occasional squid. Every once in a while, the ocean would taunt me with an island, reminding me that land existed, but it wasn't going to give me the satisfaction of finding it. The ocean tortured me for an immense amount of time. I was constantly fighting the urge to switch to creative mode and fly, or teleport back to the mainland I had come from and go the opposite direction. Anything to escape this nightmare of an ocean. Don't you dare tease me like this with more islands. Don't you dare. I hate the islands with everything that I am. Sitting here, holding my W key for ages, it made me really think about if this entire question was even worth it. I could legitimately just say, the answer is no. You can't break Minecraft in adventure mode. It isn't worth it. And this entire thing would be over. But I didn't. All of this is being done in the name of crashing Minecraft in adventure mode. And it's gonna be worth it? Question mark. I sat there in that boat passing island after island, wishing that each one was more than just a few blocks. And ultimately, after traveling thousands of blocks in this never-ending sea of misery, 
I gave up. I decided to restart. The ocean had broken me before I could break Minecraft. I've restarted, but I have found a world that includes a village. If this village doesn't have any sort of enough obsidian in this chest, I am going to lose my mind. Oh no. This is the worst freaking video of my entire life, dude. This iron pickaxe does make me think of one more thing though, is the fact that obsidian does exist naturally in this world and I could try to find diamonds and mine obsidian. You know what? Fine, I'm gonna brute force it. We're gonna do it. We are going to brute force this. I'm going to find a lava pool or something and I'm going to mine the obsidian myself. I also still need to get wood. Not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna do it. And the only way to get wood right now is to blow up a tree. Wait, 11 emeralds for a diamond pickaxe. That's actually huge. 16 wool for one emerald. Interesting, because I've got some shears right here. It, don't go anywhere. This world was looking way better than the first one. I had found a village with some promising trades. There were tools and obsidian in the blacksmith, and there was even a second village super close by with... Okay, that chest wasn't great, but the rest of it was. I got a couple creepers to blow up some houses and I was able to craft some tools to gather even more wood. I was set. I was doing so much better. The ocean had no grip on me anymore. Game plan five, finish the mission. Okay, before this night is over, I need to get some more string. So that's my plan next. Any spiders? I keep hearing zombies breaking down doors. There's a spider, spider, spiders, spiders. They are so loud over there. Them breaking down that door is so loud. Okay, I have two string. Wait, is that all I need? I think I just need those two. I think I have the string I need. Wait, okay, sticks like this and string. Fishing rod, got it. And now I just need obsidian. Can I use a bucket? Do buckets work with this? <gasps> buckets work in this version. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, that's actually huge. If I can find a lava pool, then we've done it. Finding one is probably gonna be the struggle though. Do lava pools exist in this version? Oh, but wait, I don't have a, oh wait. Oh, I can try a speed run. Hold on, I can try the speed run thing. I don't know how to do that. That, but I'm gonna try to figure it out. <laughs> okay, let me try to go underground, see if there's anything in this cave. There's not. What if I dig straight down? That actually could work. Down we go. See if I can find anything. Oh, I hear lava. If there's anything I know about Minecraft, why level 11? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Why level 11, baby? The best level for diamonds because of the lava pools. Oh, dude. This is exactly what I need. Okay, I'm gonna build out a little area over here and I'm gonna use this to build the nether portal, but I want it to be kind of tucked away and down like this so that the, uh, the lava doesn't and just immediately get covered by a bunch of water. Okay, the two most important pieces I think are these top two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these obsidian up here. Then what I can do is I can put water here, grab some lava, put lava there. Yeah, and then I just fill this all in with lava all the way across there. And then lava here and lava here. Boom, okay. And then now this is the struggle. Flint and steel doesn't quite work. At least I don't know if it does. Wait, hold on, let's find out. I have a shovel now so I can just do this. Aha, flint, okay. Does does flint and steel work now? Oh, it does in this version. Flint and steel. <gasps> All right, folks, this is the moment of truth. Can I break Minecraft in adventure mode? I've been in adventure mode this whole time. You can see I can't break these. Here we go. Does it, wait. Oh. Oh, it completely fro- <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, it's done. We made it. I am I literally just stood up. That's it. That's a crash report. We got it. We killed Minecraft. We broke Minecraft in adventure mode and uh that's wow. What a breakthrough with this version. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go cry in a corner from the freaking ocean. I have PTSD now. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. See you next time.